And we've heard from homeowners who use the sign with the camera to get out squatter. So we know it works. Yeah. Well, look, a lot of people have second homes. They've got property. Maybe they've inherited something that's not really right in the town or neighborhood where they live. All of this makes a difference. Yeah, and that's when you should ask friends and family, hey, cruise by my house, you know, and take a look. See if there's a car in the driveway, light on or off. And if you see something, don't tell them to confront the people inside because as Dan's camera saw, that can get really dicey. These Just people are what- absolutely absolute clowns this is about so this is local news in new york they're telling people to not put they're, they're telling them sorry to put up no trespassing signs to stop squatters from stealing their homes hmm. welcome back to the program your lovable curmudgeon dana lash here with you is that like the no like no gun signs yeah like you know gun it'll free stop, zone yeah signs? gun-free zone signs Those put up here. i i like the signs actually the signs that I wanted to put up around our house, like apparently it made insurance companies nervous. Because I wanted, you can, you know you can get custom made signs. You can get signs that read, if you trespass, I'll blow your brains out all over my driveway. Did you know that? Nice. You can literally get that printed up as a sign. I'm not kidding. I'm not saying that I did it and that I was going to put it up. And then when we had our insurance people come, they were like, wow, you might, you know, for your umbrella plane, you might want to take this down. We're a little worried about you. Uh, I'm not saying that any of that happened. I'm just saying that you can get those signs printed up in case you didn't know or you were unaware. So it's true. Those are the kind of signs that I'm thinking of, right? Right. Or hear me out. You get a sign that says if you trespass the aliens in this house, like from space, the outer space aliens will kidnap you and rape you to death. I mean, that's also one that you could print out lot to read on the sign i mean i don't think that there's any kind of legal anything you know you couldn't have anybody come out and be like wait a minute our laws here don't cover outer space aliens so we don't know what to tell you about this sign i feel like that would work you know legally yeah i mean if you can't look i'm just telling you if you can't have your gun and castle doctrine and protect your property then you've got to go to extreme measures you know what i'm saying you gotta go. Like maybe if they open the door, a bucket full of nails flies out at their face. I don't know. I'm just yeah, thinking yeah, that's yeah. the Home Alone route. But I kind of like the creepy sign. There could be a serial killer in here, right? I'm just saying. Or it might be helpful too if you have a second home, which is. Can I just say sidebar to this? And we're gonna get back to the squatting thing. I don't get that. You know what I mean? I just don't get the idea of having a second house. If I were a caprillionaire, I still wouldn't have a second house. I get it that all the people out there that are in, invest, are in investing right now are wanting to murder me because they're like, do you understand that that's a, I, I know that. I know exactly what you're saying. It's just more stuff I got to deal with. You know what I mean? I don't like dealing with stuff. I don't want to deal with it. You have That's stuff you have to deal with. I just get aggravated if I have like too many hairpins. I just... You know, I get aggravated. I just, I don't, like, if I have too much olive oil sometimes, I'm like, I don't know which one to use anymore. I just, there's, I just get overwhelmed, and I don't want to deal with it. That seems stressful. I know people that have second houses, and I don't know how they do it. They got to furnish them. That's stuff you've got to, well, they probably have hired, they probably hire people to clean it. But you know what I mean? Like, it's just stuff you got to worry about. And then you got to worry about squatters. So my thing where I was going with this is that if you have, you know, a, a second house or something like that. You know, maybe dig a pit in the back or in your basement. Just hear me out. This It sounds nuts, but it's cost effective in the long run, particularly if you've got, you know, the, no squ- the squatting right people laws in there. So dig a pit in your basement, right? Get a little white fluffy dog and then a basket with some lotion. And, you know, maybe just leave some DVDs. They don't even have these anymore. Silence of the Lambs sitting sound, around. Yeah, starting to sound Sounds familiar. Cinematic. Yeah, I'm just saying. So that way, if people come and squat in your house, they could be like, do we want to be here when they come back? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's what you want squatters to ask. Is it worth whatever this is for me to squat this house? I'm just saying. But I kind of like some of the signs and stuff, you know, like, you know, space aliens will rape you to death if you trespass and squat at this house. That's a good one, Kane. You got to admit. Yeah, it's lengthy, but effective, I would imagine. 
I'm, well, I'm trying to figure out mentally a way to shorten it. Like, no trespassing. Space aliens will rape you to death. Yeah. That's a good one. It's the to death part, I think, is really As impactful. if the space alien rape wasn't yeah, bad enough. It's the to it's death, to death yeah. right? Because yes. that has to be put in the obit. You know what I mean? Like, well, he was alive until he was raped to death by space aliens. <laughs> maybe put... <laughs> it's Friday. I don't care. Maybe maybe put on there that... um. You know, they they don't care about gender. <laughs> they don't discriminate. <laughs> they, they take all they take everybody. Oh my gosh. I just I gotta tell you. So, you know, maybe that's a that's a way. I'm just trying to think of ways to get right. Or I mean you could also have a helpful neighbor. Now here's something this is where you can get your neighbors in. And if you're a neighbor to somebody whose house may get squatted, you know, here's a way you can make some money. Have the neighbor go out when they see the squatters going in, right? And go, oh, fresh meat. The owner is going to be so happy. You know what I mean? And then the people going in are going to be like, are we going to get eaten? Like, what is this? And maybe just have some, you know, stuff sitting around your house. I feel like people who would try to squat me would be weirded out. My house is a little weird. A little bit. Is that how it's referred to? If someone tries to squat me? Is that how that is that how we are? What is the legalese describing for this? it? <laughs> Don't you squat me? I'm gonna squat Don't you. Squat me. <laughs> Go squat yourself. I got signs. I got signs. <laughs> There's some space aliens back here. Gave him some Viagra. <laughs> but you guys, you see, you see my point with this. So you have these. This is New York local news. And they're saying, yeah, we got to we gotta just put up some notes. Did you see how, like, they were so dedicated? They're sweet little brainless hearts. They're so dedicated. You got to take a picture of your sign to keep the squatters out. Time stamp. Yeah, time stamp it. You got to have that metadata keep the, to keep the squatters out. Or, you know, you could do it my way. I'm just, I just, who's, that's, that's some balls, I got to say. I've been to foreign countries. I cannot imagine going to a foreign country. I can't imagine going to like Italy or Puerto Rico or Spain or anywhere else. I can't imagine going to a foreign country and busting up into somebody's house like that one dude from Venezuela and telling all those people to squat. Or I can't even imagine, I can't imagine going into a foreign country and squatting someone's house. I can't imagine here in the U.S. going to someone else's house and squatting their house. Who is you? And to know that you're going to be protected by the law, that's how far all this is just such yeah, that's it's the insanity. Part of it. I, I'm looking up signs right now, and I think it's really cheap actually to get a sign that says, Don't squat me. I do, I still think that I need, I, I like the space alien one the best. Yeah, that's a more of a warning sign. This no, one that's just... a promise of things to come. <laughs> <laughs> that's. Juan says that's this stuff doesn't happen in Puerto Rico. Juan literally typed in Slack. You'll get slapped. <laughs> you should be getting murked. They don't mess, man. They don't they don't have the patience for that stuff. They don't have the patience for it. What happened to us? Like we're like, oh please don't take our homes. What the hell? Is it how is this not like a violation of the quartering act? Stranger in home equals stranger getting murked. That's literally all. I mean, that's it. I think legally I'm covered. That sounds like Bruce Dern's rule from the burbs. Right. Stranger at home means stranger gets murked. It's true. I, yeah, you can't you can't do this anywhere. I feel like that because it's common sense, you know, but here, please don't take our homes. Please, please. We just don't squat our house and change the line, move in the front. Please don't do any of that. I mean, not only would I shoot you, but I'd probably pistol with your dead body on my porch. I feel like I just. It's quite a segment so far. It is quite a segment. And I hope that all my haters choke. <laughs> good just, Friday. Good Friday. It's good Friday. It's, it's bad Friday. It's bad Friday, but it's good Sunday. 